Mr B's outside. Got his tripod out. Keep his camera steady. Gonna try and get some wildlife shots. We spent the night at Lockfleet Nature Reserve. Fair view vans here when we got out. We only just managed to park up, but we had no choice. We couldn't move on. It was pitch black. Couldn't see where the hell we were because we've been shopping and stuff first. There he is again. Don't know what he's filming. Hopefully he's filming something. So I'm going to get ready and hopefully get out. And it will stay dry, hopefully as well. Lovely view though, but the tide's coming in. So, hoping the wildlife stays around while I'm getting ready and then we can get out and see what we can film. My turn to come outside now and what a beautiful place as we said this is Loch Fleet it's just off the A9 water is so still absolutely lovely lots of wildlife not one for you though is it Trevor with this view You'll think it's boring. And we are the only ones here now. Castle in the background. We're going to go and explore in a bit. Nobody here. Everybody's gone. What are you doing, Mrs B? I am trying to film more like Mr. Or posh with your camera and your tripod, don't don't you? Yeah, no, it's your new camera. I'm going to get a new lens. I've had enough of it. It's no good for quick ones. I spent an hour there looking at the Aaron, and then as soon as I turned my eyes, he flew off, and I tried to catch him, and I was all over the place. Couldn't catch him. Yeah, it's a good zoom, but what you need to do, you need to zoom in and then just don't touch the camera for a few seconds and when it settles it's it's focuses better yeah. it's a bloody good zoom but it is a good zoom. yeah but i miss i miss my proper camera i do What did you do, Mr. B? Nothing. Yes, he did. He did. I went for a swim, really. <laughs> yeah. I didn't want to go, but I had no choice. 
Yeah. <laughs> I was setting my tripod up and I was getting the spirit level right so it's all set up properly. And I walked around on one side without realising that I walked off the side and slipped straight down into the seaweed and the water. Yeah, got in I never got it on camera, man. Yeah, but you've put, set it up right by a bloody pothole anyway, because I nearly fell over. Yeah. Yeah, it's the I best, know. This is the best place for, to get um, all the way around. Yeah, I know. Place. But there is a pothole there, because my foot yeah. went in it and I nearly fell backwards. And there's a big lake. Well, yeah, but I fell the other yeah, way. I know. Oh, I don't know. But it's nice here, isn't it? It's Everybody's serious. gone now. Yeah, I know. I'm going to go for a walk in a bit, aren't we? Yeah, Look, tide's right in, man. In? Yeah. Oh, God, my brain, man. Yeah, tide is in. Water levels are high, yeah. ain't they? Yeah. So we're going to go out in a bit, aren't we? We are. But look, what's not to like about that? Trevor. <laughs> and Pat, for that matter. Oh, I don't know. Well, everyone's got different tastes, ain't they? Bloody flies are annoying there. Yep. That's why I got my fly catcher. Carl is obsessive about the flies, man. Yep. Do me a with a fly. bloody vacuum cleaner. It works, it's quicker. Right, we are going to go for a walk in that direction. When we find the path to get there. I think it's Scalbo Castle. That's where we're parked up. Right on the lock. You can hear the birds. Got benches and you've got bins. And if you follow the road round, you end up back on the A9 to carry on up north or to go back down south. Lovely spot though. We don't know if we're going the right way. Oh, I think we're walking up somebody's private drive. But I don't know. We shall see. Carl's had a look with the drone. But I think we should have walked in the other direction and found a gate somewhere. But we'll find out. So, you come out the car park and you do a left. Follow the road round. There's like a cattle grid on the right. Walk at the side of that. Walk up the track. And then you'll see the track, this grassy path at the cottage to come up here. And hopefully it is right. We, we will find way. out. Oh, God, is there a turnstile? Yeah, we can get over. Oh, knackers, man. It says Castle Ruins. Got to go over that, which ain't a problem. But we can't get the dog over. And he's too heavy to pick up. And you don't like being picked up, he'd have a fit. Looks like there was a hole for doggies there, but somebody's covered it up. So we're going to see if we can get in the other way. That bit's covered in scaffolding anyway. I don't think that's a castle. Looks more like a house. It's badly overgrown as well. So we're going to try the other way. Hopefully we'll find it. So we've walked around, and the only other option is the gate that is locked. So that other way must be the proper way. So if you ain't got a dog, you've got to go the way I originally said. If you have got a dog, you ain't going to get up there anyway. Are oh, yeah. Not unless your dog's a mountain climber. Yeah, unless you can pick your dog up in the little. So I'm going to climb over and see how I get on up there. So Mr B is going to go and pack everything up, ain't ya? While I go and look at the castle. Mrs B. He's going to attempt to climb this. She's doing well. Oh, she's going to fall? No, she won't. Yeah, I know. Oh, she's struggling. Oh, she survived. Yeah, that would have been good footage. Bye bye. She is. Oh yeah, we're not going to say that. We didn't say that. You really know. Ellen is going all the way up there. 
I'm going all the way over there. over there and I'm gonna carry on up here and explore the castle which apparently is a Mott and Bailey castle built in the 12th century I can't walk and talk at the same time not uphill anyway so the castle was attacked by Robert the Bruce in 1308 and then it was later rebuilt in stone and remained a residence until the 18th century. But now, as you can see, it's a massive ruin. And it's a bit of a killer of a walk as well. <sighs> right uphill, man. And I've just killed myself off. And I can't get in this way anyway. So you have got to go the other way. That is the only way you can get in. So there it is anyway. Scalbo Castle. Bugger or what man? Shame I can't get in there innit? Worth the climb for the view though. Look at that. And if I carry on round, you can see where the lock goes out to the open sea. There, look. Ain't that beautiful? <laughs> 